Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the new Zag Invisible Shield HD. This is supposed to be super clear and more glass-like as opposed to more rubbery as far as the surface goes of the skin. So this is a front skin or a shield for the front of the iPhone. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box here. These are about $15. If we open it up here, uh, here's the skin. Now the skin looks, I, I was looking at it a little bit before, but the skin looks like it has uh, no orange peel effect. So we'll have to see that once it's on the phone. Let's go ahead and remove the rest. Now they have their new shield spray. It looks like it's probably the same thing in a different type of container. I know they were having some issues, uh, some people reporting that they leaked. So maybe that's why they switched containers. Either way, it looks kind of nice. Uh, in here we have a microfiber cloth, it looks like. See if I can open this up here. We have a microfiber cloth. Looks like maybe some instructions and the squeegee, which in my opinion is the best way to put on a Zag shield or any shield really. Now I do have a competitor's shield currently on my phone that I'm going to remove and then I'm going to put on the Zag shield. So I this one has some orange peel in it. I really like it. It went on really easy, but this one's supposed to be more glass-like and super clear, so it should be interesting to see what it's like once it's on. Now I'm going to go ahead and go place this on my phone, and then we'll come back and take a look at it and see what it's really like. I've installed the Zag HD. It went on really well. It, it actually went on very easily. It's a little bit different type of material than the previous Zags. It's less rubbery and is a little more stiff. So when you place it on the phone, as long as you've got all the dust out from underneath it, all you do is just squeegee out the, the uh, liquid they provide in a nice new spray bottle. So you can see it's, it's nice. It has a lifetime guarantee. So if you ever have a problem with it, you scratch it. Uh, you rip it, whatever, you can get a new one for free, and they'll send that to you. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way, and we'll take a look at the Zag itself. Now, there's a couple things that were, I found a little bit weird about it. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Now, one of the things Zags generally have is some orange peel effect. This one really doesn't have that too much. It's not, not really bad at all as far as that goes. Let me move it this way. So you can see it's not really... There's not really an orange peel effect there so much. It's really clear when the screen is on. Let me go ahead and turn the, the phone on, and you can see uh, there's my logo. And you can see it's really clear. It's hard to tell that it's even there. And that's the idea, is a lot of these screen shields, they really don't show the, the vibrance and the quality of the retina display. And this one certainly does. It really does a good job of letting... Uh, light through and not changing it so that it looks really clear. The responsiveness of the touchscreen is good, if not better than a previous Zag, and it feels strong and like it's not going to, to break or anything as far as ripping. Now, if you scratch it here, it will self-heal. So I can, I can kind of mar it up with my fingernail a little bit. Let me bring this in here. I'll let it refocus. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but I've marred it with my fingernail up there a little bit, and it it will self heal over a day or so and it won't be there anymore. I did that across the top of it, but you can see the screen quality. We let it refocus is really quite good through this sag shield. Very, very nice. Let me have it refocus. There we go. And the screen quality is very, very nice. It does a great job. Now, one of the things that I didn't, uh, didn't like about it is it doesn't seem to cover the entire device. And let me show you what I mean by that. I zoom back in here right along this edge. See this edge right here? This edge doesn't come all the way to the edge of the iPhone. Now, I have some suspicions that they've done this because they want to allow a case to have room, and it's like that all the way around. Uh, it just does not cover the entire device. If I grab the top of a case right here and bring it close again, See, we'll refocus. It really doesn't matter because it goes all the way around there. There's the scratch I put in it. It goes all the way around this edge and does a really nice job. But you can see there it is again. It's not it's not all the way to the edge of this device. And it, it just really uh, is kind of odd. Now, they may have done that to make it easier to install. I've seen that on a couple new products. They just don't go all the way to the edge. And it really helps with keeping air bubbles and having it last longer. So maybe that's why they do it. I haven't really been able to determine why. Now, this one in particular was not the full body wrap. It didn't come with the back. I have a really crappy screen protector on the back. Real cheap. It's got a lot of scratches on it. 
Uh, and that's it. A lot of people like to have cases on their phones. I'm not one of them. I like to have a skin and, and keep the thinness and kind of the feel of the device. But either way, this will definitely keep your screen from scratching. And the other thing they say is it feels more like glass. And I've got to give them that that it does feel more like the glass surface. Not 100% but it more like a glass surface than the previous Zag. So overall, it's really a very nice design. And uh, it's available now from Zag. It's about, I think, $16 or so for the front screen protector and $25 for a full front and back and side screen or protector for the, for the sides and the back as well. So overall, really, really nice. I'm very impressed by how clear it is. I love how clear it is and the touch sensitivity is great. You can hardly tell it's on there other than those sides like I showed you before. If you're looking for a little more protection though you'll want to add a case on top of that and just get the front screen protector. Overall though really good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Now if you've used one of these and you've used something you think is clear. Now this is a new product. It's the Zag HD. So you need to make sure that you've seen one of these before you say, you know, this skin is better or that skin. But if you have seen a Zag HD and there are some better skins out there, or you have some comments about that, please go ahead and comment below. I love to hear what you have to say about that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.